Um, Callum, first pro fight in Liverpool. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, definitely. Should be a great night. Some great fighters on the show, and it'd be good to find boxing Liverpool. The last one I had here was the end of 2010, so good to hopefully show them what I can do. It's your first knockout last time, six rounds this time. You feel you're progressing really well? Yeah, definitely. I'm happy. I got some good rounds in early on, and then got a stoppage in my last one, and I'm learning loads in the gym all the time, and fight night's my chance to show you know, how much I'm improving. What about your trainer Joe Gallagher with us? Joe, do you agree with what Callum's assessment of his own performances is? Yeah, this has been punched perfect up to now. He's made the transition over from the amateurs to the pros very well. I'm really excited for Callum this Saturday. It gives a chance for him to fight in Liverpool as an amateur and Team GB is flying all over the world and the one place he wasn't fighting was in Liverpool. So he had the, everyone knows the well-documented Olympic heartbreak, but it's a chance for um, Liverpool fight fans to see uh, the next best thing to come out of Liverpool, which will be Callum Smith and two or three years we'll be coming back here with Callum Smith packing out that Echo Arena so it's good for him to fight on the undercards and on a big huge show like this with Tony Ballou on it but it's a good learning progress for him to see what the big stage is all about and I'm looking for him to do a real good job on Saturday night. Eddie talks about him as one of the most exciting prospects in British boxing at the moment, do you agree with that? Um, yeah I'd say so in the in the UK, I'd put him up there in like the top three or four in the, in the country at the moment, he's a uh, He's got a, a young head on him still, and he's still de de developing, um, but he's getting uh, um, great sparring with some great world-class fighters, Tony Ballou, Carl Froch, Nathan Cleverley, um, he's sparred Ishmael Salik, Kid Chocolate, and that was a, a great education in the first 12 months of his professional career. What we've got to do now, he's got to uh, keep his feet in the ground, and Eddie, he's doing great wonders with the fighters that he's got in the stable, and he's progressing and well. You see he's doing Kel Brook, Tony Ballou, and um, I'm sure um, guiding with Eddie and... Uh, along the match room behind him along the way and um, there's no reason why Callum won't be fighting for titles in the not so far distant future. Callum, Joe says you know, you've been around the world boxing in the amateur game but not had the chance to fight here in Liverpool but of course your brothers have so do you know what to expect? Yeah you know, I've been, you know, Paul's had some great nights in the Echo Arena with Liam and Stephen on the undercards, you know, they've done a good few tickets here and it's a great atmosphere, Liverpool's a good fighting city and I'm just happy to be a part of it and boxing on a big show in, my own, in front of my own fans. And you're out again in Blackpool three, four weeks later. How important is it for you to keep busy at this time in your career? Yeah, I think it's very important. That's the reason. You know, Sam at Matchroom, they promised to keep me active at the start of my career. I just spoke about my amateur career. You're going to tournaments every month and fighting three, four times in a week. And I didn't want to come turn professional and have a fight and then sit around for three months doing nothing. So these are promised to keep me active and that's exactly what they're doing. I'm fighting there enough every month and couldn't ask for anything more. And Joe, just before we let you both go, you've well involved with this bill, we've got a few other fighters. Anthony Crawler, Derry Matthews, how do you see that one? Anthony Crawler wins. Why are you so confident for him? Um, I think, listen, Derry got the decision last time, but listen, um, the referee stopped the contest. Derry didn't beat Crawler, the referee stopped it. It was a controversial stoppage. I just hope that both kids on the night... Um, put the best and the fight spoke about for the right reasons this time afterwards and not because of the referee and I hope that all the fans there's plenty of Manchester kids coming down there's loads of Liverpool fans I just hope the uh, the, 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 the the fans behave themselves and that they all have a good night it's a, it's a sport at the end of the day and two kids are fighting for the Commonwealth title and it'll be a great win for Anthony Crawler to have won all three belts at a weight division that he isn't supposed to be big at Joe Callum thank you very much thank you. cheers, cheers chaps